two particles A and B with masses 3 kilograms and 4 kilograms respectively are connected by a light inextensible rope which is initially slack. The particle B starts to move with a velocity of 9 meters per second from left to right. Find the common velocity and the impulse received by each particle as soon as the rope becomes taut. Okay, it's a good idea we'll just have a look at this as an animation to begin with. So here we have particle B, uh, A, sorry, this is particle B, okay, and this is when the 4 kilogram mass starts moving at a velocity of 9 meters per second. So this is what happened. This one will move along and the string will become taut, and when the string becomes taut, they will start moving with a velocity of V. Okay, and there will be an impulse received as soon as the str as, as soon as the rope becomes taut, one in that direction and one in that direction. As it turns out, they will both be equal. So what you should do is determine which side is positive. This is positive. It's not going to have much effect in this question, though. Drawing a diagram to visualise the situation always very important. This is when the B starts moving. The string is not taut, but they're connected. This is going to start moving with a velocity of 9 metres per second, and this is when they have... where the string has become taut. What we've got to calculate is V, which they're both moving up. So, momentum before the rope goes taut will be MAUA plus MBUB, but UA will be equal to zero, and this will be equal to UB will be equal to nine, and the momentum after the rope goes taut will be equal to MA of V plus MB of V. So, putting the numbers in, that will be three times zero plus four times nine. It's going to be equal to 3V plus 4V. So it's going to be 36 is equal to 7V. And therefore V will be equal to 5.14 meters per second. To calculate the impulse, the impulse is given by the change in momentum. So that's given by FT is equal to MV minus MU. So consider, consider particle A. Particle A had 3 times 5.142 as its final velocity, and its initial velocity was 0, so therefore its impulse will be 15.4 newton seconds. And for particle B, the impulse will be 4 times 5.142 minus 4 times 9, so that's going to give me minus 15.4 newton seconds. Notice that the impulse on A and B are equal and opposite.